the Palestinians must recognize the Jewish state. The election of Donald Trump has emboldened Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Just weeks after Trump's inauguration, Netanyahu's government announced that it would build the first new settlements in a quarter century in the West Bank. Breaking with decades of US policy, the Trump administration has said it does not view existing settlements as an obstacle to peace in the region. But responding to Israel's announcement, US officials have said that expanding settlements may not be helpful in achieving peace. I'd like to see helpful in achieving peace. For a little bit, uh, we'll uh, work something out. Here's the situation. The West Bank is populated mostly by Palestinians who hope to make it part of an independent state, Palestine. But since Israel conquered the territory half a century ago, Israeli numbers have increased. Since 1995, the population of settlers has grown four times faster than Israel's itself. And whether hawkish or dovish, every Israeli government has supported the expansion of settlements. So why do Israelis choose to settle in the West Bank? There are three main reasons. One, religion. Many religious Jews point to the Bible, which says the land was promised to them by God. Two, security. Some Israelis think settlements act as a defense against attacks of the kind that occurred in 1948 when Arab countries invaded Israel. Three, affordability. Others just like the relatively high standard of living made possible by government subsidies to settlements. Yet according to the International Court of Justice, Israeli settlements are in breach of international law. Here's the argument. Barriers, buffer zones, and the presence of Israeli soldiers to secure settlers make life difficult for Palestinians. Both Palestinians and some Israelis argue that settlements play into a bigger problem. They prevent peace by eating up and dividing the land left for the establishment of a viable Palestinian state. Any peace agreement would likely hinge on Israel undertaking the tough task of removing tens of thousands of settlers from the West Bank. Israel has removed settlers as it withdrew from occupied territory in the past, but those were smaller numbers. Even if every single settlement were to be dismantled tomorrow, peace still would not be attainable without both sides acknowledging uncomfortable truths and making difficult choices. Choices such as where to draw borders, how to share Jerusalem, and how to ensure each side's security.